developers welcome back to all of you my name is Nikhil Aldivi from India in this video tutorial we are going to explore about script actions script actions are server side Java script codes that runs when specified event is trigger and that is basically designed to perform those operations which are taking a large amount of time if suppose you have the incident record in which you have more than 100 child incident records and when you are closing the parent you want to close all those child records after that uh, think of it that this is your incident record and under that uh, we have more than 100 child incident records and when you are closing this parent incident record you want to close all those child incident records after that and you don't want immediate actions for that you can use a script action so what i will do first i have to create the event first so to create event from the application navigator if you will type event registry under the performance analytics under the system you could see this event registry just click that uh, i want to open in the new tab so that we could see this record also let's go here and create a new event let's say that uh, incident dot close test child underscore records okay. and let me take uh, the incident record dot list Uh, I will open the incident record and in the related list the child incident I will add all the child incident. So it is taking time in the meantime okay so you could see uh, there are 65 child records of uh, this parent incident so table i will select here is the incident only because we are going to execute the script action for the incident record okay next i will do will create a script actions so under the system policy module you could see this some module under that we have script actions just click that and from here we can create our script action records close child incident and here you have to specify the event just know let's 
let me copy the event name or uh, let me open uh, this because I can't copy and paste here I have to select and A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H this is the one ok and make sure that your script action is activated by clicking this tick box else it will not execute and you will say that it's not working and another thing is that the community says that a uh, script execute action executes in global domain only okay So friend, what I will do, here I can access the current record. So I want to know the parent id, current access underscore id. And uh, parent table also. Current this underscore class underscore name dot to string. Okay, let me write the applied record. For now, what we will do, I will just update the walk notes to make sure that our script actions is working correctly. So, I am C, G, R. Parent table. If you have no idea about the glide record, I recommend you to watch my previous video wherein I have uploaded about the glide record and glide aggregate. And let's say this underscore ID and ID. Then I will ask to database using this query method and if there will be record I have to point to that record using ncgr dot next method post that uh, let's suppose a text uh, I am passing through the parameter event dot param1 We'll discuss about this param1, param2. Uh, you don't worry. And from here, here dot I have to update the walk notes. Set value is the method. Another way by doing dot walk, walk underscore notes equal to text. And after that, I will I will write this line to update the record. Nice. Let me format it. And here also let me convert it to string and let's save it. Uh, for now what I will do, I will execute this script action through the background script because we haven't uh, know about, we didn't know about the business rule because I haven't uploaded about the business tool I mean to say mm. background script let me open this tool from here I will write the so what I will do I will just 
copy this things here also and here we know the table and we also know the record so uh, let me copy the record number so inside if condition we have to call the event and that event will execute uh, this script actions when that will get the chance in the event queue yes dot event queue in the event name here uh, I thought I would have open so this is the first argument wherein we have to specify the event name second argument we have to specify the record third argument and fourth argument is an optional and as I said in the parameter one I will pass the text and let's say this string script action and hopefully it will execute let me run the script let me go here and okay it has not executed Okay. Field name is walk underscore notes, not the walk note. Incident dot INCGR yes, dot print hello and let me run the script okay you get the message hello but uh, in the walk nodes uh, we didn't get any value here parent id we are missing something right here what i will do i will log ts dot info and text and let me save oh my god We know how to find our execution history script execution history and I'll go here and find to that yeah, this is get to a oh this is the one me open me copy this and press here okay uh, let's uh, check the event logs event So 
2 I think just testing script action so in the parameter 1 we have passed this value uh, let's check the log also system log the reason I have written this g is the info line and it will log the messages in this syslog underscore this table and you could see we this script is running but it is not updating this record this testing script action means the script action has executed parent table ok let me print the parent table also let me run the script again ok uh, let me go here uh, now this time I put Okay, you could see we are able to fill the table name incident if you are able to see. And what is missing here? Work notes. Let's print uh, the ID as well. I just wanted to know that why it is not updating the record. Let me run this script. Okay, so let me check the log. I see that. Just so you could see we are able to fetch the ID as well. Uh, let me check my code then. Okay, here we go. let's execute this script again so if I will go and so you could see this testing script X and the reason it wasn't working is that I have written the gr instead of inc underscore gr now next I have to do is that I will query all this file incident records I will just write this script, I am not going to update this records, I am not going to close this incident records for you, all we have to do here is that uh, if I will open this record, any of the record And if I'll go to this related records tab, you could see the parent incident field. The backend name is parent incident. And this is referring to this record. So here I will update the parent underscore field. So this is the parent id and after that only I have to do here is that I have to close the this incident set value and I will update the state 
and I will give the value which is this one close the background value is 7 7 post that dot update update multiple is the function and to make sure update multiple see this is the method by using that you can update multiple records so here I have to write that and in this case it will update all the child records so this is the way to call the script action you can call the script action from anywhere from script include from business tool but the community says that the script actions you are creating if it is in global scope then only it will work so friend thank you for watching